Okay, hello Cloud Gurus. Well, Sam Krunenberg here. Sanjay Kotetra here, and I'm ACG's Big Data Guru. Well, it's day three at reInvent, and Amazon did not disappoint today. So the day actually kicked off with Andy Jassy's keynote, where he made a series of major launch announcements. We're going to give you the rundown on these now and tell you exactly what you need to know. Awesome. Uh, Amazon have announced SageMaker, which is a fully managed end-to-end -end machine learning service, and it removes the heavy lifting and enables data scientists, developers to quickly build, train, and host machine learning models at scale. This drastically accelerates all of your machine learning efforts and allows you to add machine learning to your production applications quickly. And GuardDuty is a new service that learns to accurately identify malicious or unauthorized behavior in your AWS accounts. So it ingests multiple data streams, such as several threat intelligence feeds, and stays aware of malicious IP addresses and devious domains. GuardDuty actually detects many different types of dangerous and mischievous behavior, including probes for known vulnerabilities, port scans, and access from unusual locations. For those of you who work with containers, AWS Fargate is an easy way to deploy your containers on AWS. To put it simply, Fargate is like EC2, but instead of giving you a virtual machine, you get a container. All you need to do is build your container image, specify the CPU and memory requirements, define your networking and IAM policies, and launch. Elastic Container Service for Kubernetes was announced, or EKS as they're calling it. Now, 63% of Kubernetes run in the cloud is actually run on AWS today, but there's a lot of manual work to do it. So EKS is going to make it much easier. It can automatically deploy Kubernetes over multiple AZs, so there's no single point of failure. You can use all of the existing plugins and tooling from the Kubernetes community within EKS, which is awesome. And applications running on Amazon EKS are fully compatible with applications running on any standard Kubernetes environment. This means that you're going to be able to easily migrate your Kubernetes application to Amazon EKS with zero code changes. That's really, really cool. Um, and, that, and to protect against a single point of failure, Amazon EKS automatically runs K8s with three masters across three AZs. So this multi-AZ architecture delivers resiliency against the loss of an AWS availability zone, for example. Aurora Multimaster allows multiple master nodes across multiple availability zones. This allows you to read or write data to multiple masters in multiple data centers. Best of all, you don't have to rewrite your application. Currently, single region multi-master is available. In 2018, multi-region multi-master will be available. Aurora Serverless is pretty cool. It runs like Lambda. You pay by the second when your database is in use. Otherwise, you don't pay. That's cool. I'm personally excited about DynamoDB Global Tables, fully managed multi-master multi-region database. It covers you if you have an outage in one region, and it also features on-demand continuous backups. Point-in-time restore will be coming later in 2018. Amazon Neptune is a fully managed graph database that makes it easy to gain insights from relationships among your highly connected data sets. It has support for up to 15 read replicas. You can scale query throughput to hundreds of thousands of queries per second. It is engine optimized for storing billions of relationships and querying the graph. It has fast failover, point in time recovery, multi availability zone requirements for high availability. You can also encrypt your data at rest, giving you complete control over data integrity in transit and at rest. And I think that's uh, Amazon's first play in the graph database space. Isn't it, it is, yeah. Up next is Deep Lens. Now, this is a great way of getting hands on experience with AI, IoT, and serverless computing. Now, Deep Lens is actually a new video camera that runs deep learning models directly on the device out in the field. Now, you can use it to build really cool apps, like the ones that allow you to open the garage door when uh, a car approaches and you can recognize the license plate, or to send you a notification when your pet, like your dog, jumps on the couch. Um, deep Lens combines leading edge hardware and sophisticated onboard software, and it lets you make use of AWS Greengrass, Lambda, and some other AWS AI and infrastructure services right in your app. And now one I'm really excited about, recognition video. Now, as you know, to date, recognition has been only for classifying images, but now AWS have announced support for video. So recognition video brings scalable computer vision analysis to your S3 stored videos, as well as live video streams. So with recognition video, you can accurately detect 
track, recognize, and moderate thousands of objects, faces, and content from a video. Now, the coolest feature is that it's the first video analysis service in the world that uses complete context of visual, temporal, and motion of the video to perform activity detection and person tracking. So what does that mean? Well, it means you can do cool things like identify that there's a man, a car, and a tree in a given video, as well as deduce that the man in the video was running to the car. Skynet is coming, people. This is it. Next up is Kinesis Video Streams. This allows you to ingest streaming video from millions of camera devices without having to set up or run your own infrastructure at all. So KVS accepts your incoming streams, stores them durably and in encrypted form, and it creates time-based indexes and enables the creation of your vision-enabled applications. With Amazon Transcribe, you eliminate the need to transcribe audio. This service makes it easy for developers to add speech to text capabilities to their applications. We'll try it out for subtitles on our own videos and let you know our verdict on the ACG release review. Yeah, that's that going to be really You cool. handle, Sam. Yeah, absolutely. I can't wait for our developers to get their hands on that and see if we can really get some great uh, subtitles on all of our videos. Absolutely. OK, next up, Amazon Translate, which is a high quality neural machine learning translation service that uses advanced machine learning technologies to provide fast language translation of text-based content. Organizations and businesses now have the ability to expand products and services in other regions more easily by allowing consumers to access websites, information, and resources in their preferred language using automated language translations. In addition, customers can engage in multiplayer chats, gather information from consumer forums, dive into educational documents, and even obtain reviews about hotels, even if those resources are provided in a language that they can't readily understand. <clears throat> Amazon Comprehend is a fully managed natural language processing service. Comprehend analyzes text and tells you what it finds, starting with languages from Afrikaans to Yoruba and with 98 other languages in between. It can identify people, places, brands, products, key phrases, positive, negative, mixed, or neutral sentiments, and extract key phrases from all text in English or Spanish. So there are a bunch of cool IoT announcements today as well. There was IoT Device Manager for managing millions of devices, Device Defender for auditing and real-time threat detection of IoT, and IoT Analytics, which integrates actually with Amazon QuickSight. And finally, Amazon have released Amazon Free RTOS. This is Amazon's own IoT microcontroller operating system that simplifies development, security, deployment, and maintenance of microcontroller-based edge devices. And there were some important service updates, like there are two new EC2 instance types, spot instances can now be paused, and Lambda functions get weighted traffic shifting. That's really cool, because now you can like A-B test Lambda functions. Absolutely. It's really yeah. cool. OK, so tomorrow, where can you find the gurus at reInvent? Well, at 1.45, our own Pete Sparsky We'll be talking at reInvent with Ajay from the Lambda and Serverless team from Amazon. So they're going to be talking about how to become a serverless black belt and optimize your serverless applications. This is a hardcore 400 level talk. It's going to be really cool. We'll also be at the Cloud Health booth at 4 p.m. if you want to catch up with us and come and say hi. And at 6 p.m. we'll be at the AWS certification reception, which is at the Brooklyn Bowl at the link. And then... All the fun, replay, the big massive party of reInvent kicks off at 8 p.m. and we'll all be there letting our hair down. It's gonna be awesome. And as always, we'll be here for the rest of the week. We have the Guru Poolside Cabana at the Aria. If you're interested in training for your organization, we're taking bookings for meetings in the, in the Cabana. So just let us know. It's open from one till three for bookings every day. Okay, that's it from day three at reInvent. A massive day of announcements. Keep following us on Twitter. There's going to be lots of updates from us throughout the next couple of days, and we'll see you tomorrow. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah, that's you, it's you, good. You, you, I was just smiling. Yeah, you I don't just, have a really good line. I wasn't sure when to leave. I'm going to come up with like some shitty line that's like, I think that was good. Yeah. Is that all right? Uh, I think. <laughs> you got it? Yeah, I think you got it. Uh, so, I probably should yeah. say, I, yeah. I probably should say, yeah, and it's going to be another, another day of exciting announcements. So I'll end with that. Yeah. How about yeah. that? Okay. Let's do it. So when you look yeah. at me, I'll say, 
Absolutely, it's going to be another awesome day of okay. amazing Let's announcements. Let's do it. All right. Whew, so, <laughs> much, so much to remember. All right. <clears throat> Keep following us on Twitter for all the latest updates. And uh... follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook. And keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus. We'll see you tomorrow. Is that all right? It's all right. In the cat.